Hi girls, so it's Monday again. Um, I really need to get better at like punctuality. This is something that kind of resonates throughout my whole life because I'm always late for everything. And this is the second week where my video has been late, so I'm sorry again. Um, my only excuse is that yesterday I was in Vancouver with my parents for the day. And when I came home, I made my video, and everything was good, and then it didn't upload, so I made it again. And then there was no audio, and so I just got over that and tried putting it up, and Bridge says it's not there. So, Monday, again. Yeah. Um, so I don't really have a theme for us this week. I kind of thought maybe we could just vlog kind of like traditional vloggers do. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to talk to you about a very short list of things. Um, first off, what are you guys up to? I'm just kind of curious what's going on now that you're done finals. Um, what does that look like for you? Because I don't have any finals. I just have like all my exams at the end of the year. So um, what are you guys up to now? What's new? What's cracked a lack in? Wow, I should really never say that again. Okay, moving on. Um, this weekend, I dyed all the ends of my hair like magenta. Which is, ah, you, oh, you can't see it. Okay. Well, it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. So, um, it was nice to just do something that I've been wanting to do and just haven't got around to. So, yeah, that's kind of an exciting thing for me because I've never dyed my hair before. So, um, what else? Oh, this week I got my copy of The Fault in Our Stars. I got it on Wednesday after school when I came home and I finished it Wednesday night. Um, I pretty much powered through it. And I thought it was a really great book, a lot of really great quotes, and just like an amazing job overall by John Green. So um, I'm really excited to meet him though, because my copy wasn't signed, which was a little bit disappointing, but since I will be seeing him and Hank um, in a week, wow, okay, so I'm going to meet them in a week, um, I'll get them to sign it then, so it's not really a big deal. Um, I will say that I think it was an excellent portrayal of what it's like living with someone who has cancer or being a family member. Um, just from like first-hand experiences and stuff, it was really, really well done. So if you haven't checked it out yet, I recommend you do. Um, I also finished The Name of the Star this week. I think I talked about that two weeks back. And it was um, really good. It was actually really, really surprising end result, not what I expected. Not what I expected when I picked it up either, reading um, just like the, the book jacket, like the description. I thought it would be kind of like a you know, more traditional, just, you know, girl goes to London, London-y stuff happens. But um, yeah, it was really good and I quite liked it. So I would recommend you read that as well. And I also have started another book. Um, it's about like famous people in history, like really historical history, like Da Vinci type history. Um, and how dreams have affected their lives and what they've done. So that's kind of interesting. I'm kind of excited to see what that book has to say just because I think dreams are really interesting because they're one of those things that we never really know what they mean and there's probably never going to be a way for us to know, but it's just kind of cool. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, Guilty Pleasures. I forgot to mention last week one of mine, um, I think mine are all pretty music oriented, but um, the Twilight soundtracks, I haven't seen the last movie, and I only saw clips like once, like a couple years ago, I think, when it came out. But the soundtracks are really good. They generally have a lot of really good alternative rock, um, kind of independent artists. So those are really good to check out if maybe you're looking for some new music beats. Don't judge the music by the movie that it was stuck in, because they may have had no control over that. Um, and just lastly, I wanted to say that I was pretty stoked, Jen, when I saw that you liked The Midnight Beast as well because I don't really know anyone else who listens to them regularly. I have like one friend who does, so that's, that's cool. It's a connecting point of inappropriate indulgence. Um, that's pretty much all for this week. Um, like I said, I'm going to Vlogbrothers next week, so that's exciting. Um, and also, I don't know if you guys, well, because we're all Harry Potter fans, I'm assuming you've been following Daniel Radcliffe. Um, he finished up on Broadway a couple weeks back, and Darren Criss took over, and now it's one of the Jonas Brothers. Um, but currently, Daniel Radcliffe's movie is going to come out in two weeks, I think? Yeah, so about two weeks. Um, so Rachel and I are going to go see that, and I don't watch scary movies, 
So this is something that's kind of daunting for me. I'm pretty much only going to watch Daniel. So it'll probably be a screaming fest. But if any of you are going to see that, let me know. Um, if you guys like scary movies, let me know, because that's not something I'm into at all. I don't really like getting scared. It freaks me out, which is what being scared is. But, um, yeah, just that's. I guess that's all for this week. Um, no theme. Vlog. Be creative. Do challenges. Yeah. Bye.